Now we are going to start with an important phenomena that is the surface tension. See, suppose I have a beaker and I have water in it. So if we talk about the definition first, surface tension is force acting along the surface per unit length or you can say force acting per unit length along the surface is called as surface tension. See what happened here is, first I am going to explain you the cause then we will come to the main point that what is surface tension. Suppose if I consider this is a beaker and I have water in it, let us consider a water molecule here. So we see that uh, on this water molecule at point A, let us say this is point A, we see that at point A if we consider a molecule, then this molecule is being attracted from all the sides. There are a cohesive forces, we know that I told you that cohesive forces is the forces that operate between the molecules of same kind. So we see that this molecule is being attracted from all the sides. But all the forces being equal and opposite cancels out and there is the net force, the net force acting on it is 0. Now let us consider a particle here at this point, let us say this point is B. So we see that the particle which is present at the top that means uh, on the upper surface, on the upper free surface, it is being attracted by the particles present below it from this side, from this side, from this side. But there are no forces from this side, but there are no forces from upward direction. That means all the forces are from downward, but there is no force is here from the upward which can balance it. So that means it will experience a net force and net force will be a downward pull and the net force will be a downward pull. But uh, so you can say all the molecules which are present on the surface, on the free surface, they will experience a net downward pull. But what they do actually, they, they are like because they are exhibiting a downward pull and there is no other force acting on the upward which can actually uh, balance those forces acting in a downward direction. Therefore, these molecules try to come closer to each other. Therefore, they, these molecules try to come closer to each other. And when they come closer, they occupy the less surface area, they occupy a less surface area or we can say that they appear to be a stretched membrane. The upper free surface appear to be a upper free, this is I am talking about only for the upper free surface, it appears to be a stretched membrane. So this, this phenomena is called as surface tension. Again I am going to explain you what is surface tension, obviously it is a force acting along the length, along the surface per unit length. Now how uh, like uh, due to the surface tension what we see actually or, or you can say that when they, what is the condition necessary for the surface tension to occur? The condition necessary for the surface tension to be seen is that there should be a free liquid surface, there should be a free liquid surface in contact with the air. It is only seen in this case, the surface tension is seen when the free liquid surface is in contact with the air. As you can see that this is the liquid surface and this is the air around. So that means here the surface tension exhibit. So what happens like a, uh, due to surface tension, the upper free surface, only this surface, this one, it appears to be a stretched membrane and uh, the, uh, like it appears to be a stretched membrane and due to which they start, the molecules start coming closer to each other, they occupy less surface area, they try to contract actually, occupy a less surface area and what is the cause behind? The cause behind is that the molecule which is present here is being attracted by the molecules, uh, uh, cohesive forces acting on the molecule because you should know that what, what nature of force is acting cohesive force is acting on this molecule but the forces are acting only from the downward side as there is no molecule present up so there, there is no force from the upward which can actually balance the downward force. But in contrast if we see that the molecule which is present in a bulk is being attracted from all four sides so that means the net force is 0 and it, it uh, remain as such as it, it was present earlier. But here as uh, the uh, it is exhibiting a net downward pull from inside so just to balance that they will start coming closer to each other and they appear to be a stretched membrane. So this is what is the surface tension and this is the cause you are going to explain. Now you know that uh, if we talk about like uh, due to the surface tension only we see certain phenomena like we see that uh, whenever uh, there uh, you can say a spherical drop, 
like a liquid when it uh, if a liquid is dropped on a table or something it like if you spread the liquid on the any glass surface or anything they they try to acquire a small uh, spherical drop it becomes a spherical drop actually so you know that the spherical drop is actually uh, like the shape like you spread earlier it is spread like this is this is certain glass so you spread uh, any liquid so it is spread like this but in few minutes what you see that they acquire a droplet like structure so they appear to be a spherical droplet this is just due to a surface tension as i told you that there exists a surface tension there exists a more cohesive force therefore they try to uh, contract and acquire a less surface least surface area and the least surface area we know that is a spherical shape that is why the spherical drop like why the drops become spherical just to reduce the surface tension like uh, because when they acquire a small area they just reduce the surface tension and they start coming closer to each other and uh, they acquire a spherical sh uh, shape and this is merely due to the surface tension likewise uh, you have seen that we'll discuss one more thing meniscus meniscus of liquid what's that meniscus of liquid is that you can see that this meniscus of liquid when any liquid is in contact with solid any liquid is in contact with solid then you can see the meniscus actually i'll tell you how suppose i have a glass tube like this and another glass tube like this in which uh, in one i'm pouring a water in one glass tube there is a water and in the other glass tube let's make it with green don't think that mercury is green in color just drawing in order to differentiate it let let us say that this is mercury so if you put a mercury and water in two different tubes you will see that the point uh, the point uh, where the uh, liquid and the point where this liquid and solid comes in contact with each other there uh, appear a slight depression or a slight curve like structure we can see like the point where it comes in contact with this this point i'm talking about so at this point where the liquid comes in contact with the solid it tries to, on the upper surface it tries to acquire a curve like structure and two kinds of curve can be seen a curve can be seen like this like this or a curve can be seen like this so two kind of curves are actually seen so if you put water in glass you see a this kind of curve and this is something called as concave meniscus and this kind of scene in case this uh, this kind of curve is seen in case of mercury and this is called as convex meniscus now i think you got it that what is the meniscus meniscus is that that surface that the upper surface where you can see the curve where the liquid comes in contact with the the point of uh, contact of liquid with the solid there appear a certain curve like structure and that is called as meniscus the upper layer so we see that meniscus merely of two types one is concave like you have seen in water when put in a glass and uh, the other type of uh, meniscus is this that is the convex where you are seeing a bulging kind of portion this is a inward depression and this is a outward extension so this kind of meniscus is there now what is the reason as both water and mercury are liquid but still we can see different kind of meniscus the reason here again is the based on the force of cohesion and addition as i already told you that cohesion force is the force that exists between the molecules of same kind that is the the force which exists between the water molecules the force that exists among water molecules is the force of cohesion and the force that exists between the water and the glass molecules that means in the liquid and the solid molecules is the force of addition uh, the, if we talk about the nature both the forces are attractive in nature same way in mercury the force that is existing between the mercury molecule is the cohesive forces and force that is existing between the mercury molecules and the uh, solid that is the glass that is the force of the addition now what happen like if we talk about water we see that here in this case adhesive forces are more strong adhesive force is much strong so that is why the meniscus appear to be a inward depression and in this case the force of cohesion is quite strong as compared to the force of addition therefore you can see the meniscus like 
this. So, this is the reason that uh, you get a concave meniscus and you get a convex meniscus. So, you need to answer like this that uh, meniscus is the upper, meniscus, meniscus is the upper layer and when a solid is put into a liquid uh, then at the point of contact there appear a curve and that is called as meniscus. We can see that curve that is the, we can actually notice that curve is uh, may have an inward depression or an outward bulging. So, inward depression means concave meniscus and outward is the convex meniscus. Concave meniscus is just because here the force of addition is less as compared, sorry, force of addition is more as compared to the force of cohesion. That means the force between the water and the glass is much more. The attraction is much strong as compared to the force that is operating between the water molecules. And here the force of attraction between the mercury molecules is quite high. That means adhesive forces are, uh, sorry, cohesive forces are much stronger than the adhesive. That is why the meniscus appear to be convex. And uh, like I, as I told you that uh, one of the evidence is the spherical drop of the surface tension. So, this I may explain you like suppose I say that I take a glass and I spring, I just uh, pour a mercury on it and I just pour a water on it. After some time I will see that mercury uh, the uh, you can say the mercury will drop, mercury will acquire a small droplet kind of structure and uh, the water it remains uh, scattered like that means uh, it is just poured as we have poured earlier. So, this is because that uh, mercury in mercury the force of uh, cohesion is much more stronger. There Therefore, it tries to come closer to each other and acquire a spherical drop like structure, but it does not happen in case of water because in comparison that uh, in comparison to water as I told you that force of uh, adhesive is more as compared to the force of cohesion therefore, it remains scattered like this. So, this is what is the surface tension. Now, if, uh, if like if you talk about see water is the one water is the liquid which has a maximum surface tension which we see actually. But if you add certain substance into water like you add salt into water, you add sugar into water. So, this will like adding any molecule into water is going to lower the surface tension. So, one thing you need to remember is that like when you add anything into a water, so that means the surface tension gets lowered. Second is that if you increase the temperature, if you increase the temperature they will start go, uh, moving away. So, that means they would not appear to be a much closer to each other. So, that means surface tension will decrease with increase in the temperature. So, this is what you should know that what actually is a surface tension I think you got it. So, coming on to its uh, unit, so as it is force per unit length, so obviously SI unit is going to be Newton per meter. And if we talk about the CGS, obviously force is in dyne and length is in centimeter, so it is dyne per centimeter. So, I think you got it that what is the surface tension and uh, like what you see due to surface tension and what is the cause actually. And uh, if we also talk about uh, the evidence that which shows that uh, there exists a surface tension or you can say the consequence that due to surface tension what kind of things you can observe. And we have already discussed the meniscus also, uh, why the concave meniscus is there for certain liquids and why the convex meniscus is there just depending upon the force of the cohesion and the addition. So, this is what is the surface tension.